Understanding the bicep muscle fiber type and bicep anatomy allows us to reverse engineer the best science-backed arm workout. Now, bicep has two different heads. We have the short head and the long head. We have the brachialis. The bicep muscle itself is predominantly type two muscle fibers. And there is also a research study that showed the eight most common arm exercises and the amount of bicep activation in each one. So applying all this information, I'm gonna take you through the best science-backed mass building bicep workout in episode number one of Superhuman Arms. You ain't got no gains. You ain't lift no weights. I'm gonna give you guys two bicep and tricep workouts every single week. And if you wanna join the 10 week arm transformation, you still have one more week, make sure you click that link below, enter your email, and then every single Wednesday and Sunday, I'm gonna send you 100% free PDF of the Superhuman Arms Workout of the Week. It's gonna be exact bicep and tricep workouts from some of the world's best physiques, as well as some of the best science-backed arm workouts for biceps and triceps with the goal of creating the most incredible program to build up the size of our arms in only 10 weeks. So I'm gonna get right into the workout. It's gonna be So getting into exercise number one, now why this is the best science-backed mass building bicep workout, two reasons. I've tried to figure out exercises that eliminate the anterior deltoid as much as possible while also allowing us to lift heavy because the problem is when you lift heavy on a lot of exercises, you're also incorporating your anterior deltoid into a lot of the movements. And as I stated, the biceps are predominantly a type two muscle. There's mostly type two muscle fibers, meaning they will react best to lifting heavy weight and also a range of exercises. So the first exercise is the lying cable curl. Now it showed in a study of the eight most common bicep exercises that the cable curl actually elicited the second most bicep activation. Now, instead of doing the standing cable curl, I find that I get way more activation and eliminate the anterior deltoid by doing the lying cable curl. So I want you guys to go four total sets of this, go heavy, stick in the six to 10 repetition range and really focus on curling right into your forehead. You're gonna keep your hands, I would say slightly inside shoulder width apart. So it's gonna emphasize the long head slightly more than the short head, but obviously you're working both heads on any type of these movements. So I want you guys to go four sets, six to 10 total repetition range. And on your very last set, I want you to focus on squeezing and sticking it into your forehead, kind of doing like a forced isometric hold and then going back down eccentrically really slow to maximize the muscle damage. The second exercise in a huge problem that I see that I've done in the past that I also see at the gym with guys who have trouble growing their arms is they're not incorporating enough compound movements with their arm training. So that's why we're gonna do the weighted underhand grip pull-up. Now that actually showed in that study that showed those eight, those eight common exercises that underhand grip pull-ups are actually far more effective than many isolation bicep exercises for direct bicep activation. So doing underhand grip weighted pull-ups allows us to harness the fact that they're type two muscle fibers, put a lot of overload on them and work them out from a compound movement. So really challenge yourself on this. I recommend going five sets in like the four to eight repetition range and really focus on squeezing the bicep at the top, going down nice and slow. And I also recommend doing this towards the start of your workout because obviously we're gonna do lots of other bicep exercises and it's going to limit the amount of reps that you can do and the amount of overload that you can place on the biceps if you're too fatigued. So I would do this first or second, five total sets in the four to six rep range. Third exercise, we are continuing to lift heavy and try to eliminate the anterior deltoid from these movements. So that's why we're gonna do the close grip dead hang curl. And sorry for the police sirens, there's like, some crazy shit going down in downtown LA today. But the close grip dead hang curl, having your hands and kind of like cupping under here allows us to really eliminate the anterior deltoid on these curl movements. Hands inside shoulder width apart allows us to maximize the long head activation. So with this one, go nice and slow and controlled, kind of curl into your forehead and then go down to a count of at least three seconds to maximize the eccentric overload and the muscle damage phase. So. Challenge yourself, go heavy once again. I would say five to eight repetition range. Go for a total of four sets. And these are incredible exercises. I had a much different pump. Obviously we're gonna have one day per week where we kind of do more high rep pump stuff. 
but going heavy and eliminating anterior deltoid is definitely gonna be the recipe for success for growing bigger biceps throughout the next 10 weeks. So the fourth exercise is the good old fashioned barbell curl. And this is the exercise that I would say I struggle the most on from the sense of trying to eliminate the anterior deltoid. I just have really long arms, but I find that if I kind of kneel and bring my arms in front of my body and kind of like get in that crouch, like almost like I'm a basketball player, like a little bit of a defensive stance and like really focus on curling in, it allows me to put a lot of overhead without completely activating those anterior deltoids, trying to use the bicep for most of the movement. So go heavy on this movement. It's a compound arm exercise, so it's gonna allow you to lift more weight. And obviously it's predominantly biceps, but just doing straight bar curls is gonna allow you to put the maximum amount of overload, both on the short and long head. So this uh, normal grip, we're gonna hit both the short and long head of the bicep. I want you guys to go four sets in the six to eight repetition range. Exercise number five is probably my favorite one, and it was rated as the best bicep exercise based off of that study for activation. So the concentration curl really forces you to like eliminate your anterior deltoid from the movement. And then a little trick with this one is, number one, we're gonna go heavy. I want you guys to go four sets, six to eight repetitions, and kind of focus on like twisting the outside portion of your hand. So instead of just like curling in, focus on like twisting and almost like bringing this pinky out here. So instead of just curling just like this, what you're gonna do to get more activation in the bicep is as you come to the apex of the movement, you're gonna twist and squeeze. You're trying to bring this out here, and I want you guys to do that on every single rep. So as you go back down, kind of twist the wrist, and then as you come back here, really focus on that squeeze, and you guys are gonna get killer bicep activation with the combination of going heavy on this, and also going in the six to eight repetition range and focusing on that twist. This one should be a staple in every single arm workout. All right guys, number six, last but not least, is something that's gonna work the brachialis a little bit more than the other exercises, which is gonna help to push that long head up. Now, this is kind of an exercise, I don't know if I invented it, but I haven't really seen too many people do it. And you're gonna be kind of like angled here, so you're gonna be arm kind of in a dead hang, you're gonna grasp something. And think of it like an angled hammer curl. So the first part of the movement is an angled hammer curl. So you're gonna squeeze up, and now to maximize the activation right in the bicep and the brachialis, you're gonna keep tension on, you're gonna stop at that halfway point, and then once again, you're gonna come back up and do a little twist. So normal hammer curl, angle downward, and then you're gonna come back up, and then you're gonna twist out. And I want you guys to do about eight total reps. Uh, go four sets, eight total reps, eight on each side, and really focus on keeping the bicep under tension, stopping, and that squeezing really worked that brachialis. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the mass building bicep workout. So I really tried to come up with this workout logically because I think myself and so many people, you're doing arm workouts and you're kind of chasing the pump, but the biceps are mostly type two muscle fibers. So I tried to A, come up with exercises that are gonna maximize the amount of overload that you can place directly on the bicep and B, without overloading the anterior deltoid. So I would say these six exercises right here, going heavy is gonna work the short head, the long head, and also the brachialis really effectively. Now, every single workout, we're obviously gonna change up the bicep and the tricep workouts. This is workout number one of the 10 week arm transformation series. So if you still wanna join, make sure you click that link below. And at the end of this video, in about 10 seconds, I'm gonna link to my video, how to get taller biceps to also give you a wide range of long head exercises. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you for episode number two on Sunday in which we're gonna break down a triceps workout.